Well then. And this video we're going to be looking at the sine rule, which uses the cosine rule, and also the uh, often forgotten formula for the area of a triangle. Uh, before I go any further, just remind you that you have these formula in your um, exam paper. Here we go. If you look, this is just a, a section of it. You have the area of a triangle formula here. You have one form of the sine rule here. And you have the cosine rule here. Right, let's see uh, how we use the sine rule. Now, you use the sine rule when you have a known angle opposite a known side. And it's the easier to use of the two. So we're going to use the sine rule here. And I'm trying to find a side. So I use the form of the sine rule that's given. It is the, a length over, or A over sine A equals B over sine C. Now, let's, uh, sorry, B over sine B over sine B, I reckon. Now, one of these uh, sets of letters are lowercase, one are uppercase. The angles have uppercase names. So we choose A, uppercase A, for the known angle, and the side opposite it is lowercase a. We know this angle here, 46 degrees, so I'll call that B, and we'll call the unknown I'm trying to find, the side opposite it. We'll call that lowercase b. Now let's use the formula. I put the values in that I know, so I've got 17 over sine 123 degrees equals x, the thing I'm trying to find, over sine 46 degrees. Now what I've got to do before I get my calculator out, to get rid of this now, I don't think I need it, is to make x the subject. Now do that by multiplying both sides by sine 46 degrees. So we get 17 over sine 123 degrees times sine 46 degrees must equal um, x times sine 46, then divided by sine 46, the two sine 46s that I'm multiplying by and dividing cancel each other out and I've just left with x. And then it is a case of getting your calculator out and typing all of that in. So let's have a look. So we do 17 over sine 1, 2, 3, close those brackets, make sure your cursor's up here, times sine 46, close the brackets, and there we have 14.58 to two decimal places. X equals 14.58 centimetres. Let's just double check. Here's another thing I don't know if you're aware of. The lengths of the sides are in proportion to the size of the angles opposite. So we've got 14.58. It had to be less than 17 because 46 degrees is less than 1, 2, 3. Okay, now, just before I move on to um, the cosine rule, be aware, say you're trying to find angles, say the question was slightly modified, so if I just clear the handwriting, say your question had been this, and you were trying to find the angle, then we'd use the alternate form of the sine rule, you'd use sine uppercase a over a equals sine b over b. And in fact, I might as well run through that. We know what the angle is. I think it's going to find it's 46, or close to it, because we did some rounding here. And then you remember how you do it? Known angle, uppercase, opposite it, uh, the known side, lowercase. And then b, and then lowercase b. And I then replace this formula with the values. And I get the sine of 1, 2, 3, over 17 equals the sine of x over 14.58. Try and make sine x the subject by multiplying by 14.58. So I get sine 1, 2, 3 over 17 times 14.58. Uh, that equals the sine of x 
And to make x the subject, we've just got one more step, it's sine to the minus 1 of all that. Now, with these wonderful calculators that are available, I'm going to get the calculator, God willing, to do all of this in one go. Though I haven't noted what I'm uh, typing into the calculator, so should I make a mistake and not notice it, then the examiner will give me method marks. So it's sine to the minus 1, and what do we have? We have a fraction. So it's sine 1, 2, 3, close brackets, over 17. Use the replay button, so it's times 14.58. Close that, press equals, and then we get 45.99. 995. To uh, one decimal place is 46.0. Okay, just pause now. We're going to look next at cosine rule. Right, now the cosine rule. You use the cosine rule when you don't have any known angle opposite a known side. In this case, I don't know any of the angles. And what it looks like I've been asked to do is to find this angle here. So it's going to take an alternate use of the cosine rule. But let's look at the cosine rule. Um, always label the uh, angle you know, if you know an angle, or the angle you're trying to find is uppercase A. Then opposite it must be lowercase A. And then the others don't matter. I'll call that B and that C. Now the cosine rule, I'll remind you, is that A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2bc cosine, it's so the cosine rule, a. But what shall I use it here? Right, I'm going to replace a with 21. So 21 squared equals 15 squared plus 11 squared. Take away 2 times 15 times 11 times the cosine of a. Now I won't work out anything yet. I'm going to move these terms across to try and make cosine a the subject. So it's 21 squared take away 15 squared, take away 11 squared, equals, actually I will multiply that, no I won't multiply that out, it's, yes I will, it's minus 330 cosine A, and now if I divide both sides by minus 330, I get 21 squared, take away 15 squared, take away 11 squared, all over at minus 330, equals cosine of A, and yet we're trying to find A, so A is going to be equal to I'll write this down, cosine of the minus 1 of that expression there. 21 squared, take away 15 squared, take away 11 squared, all over, minus 330. Let's get the calculator to do all of that. So it's shift cos to the minus 1. It's the whole thing, the main thing is a fraction. So I'll put that there and I've got 21 squared, take away 15 squared, take away 11 squared, all over minus 330. Better just make sure I close that bracket. And there we have 106.7 degrees. Now, last one, very, very quickly. How do we find the area of a triangle? Well, obviously, if we had half, uh, the, the height and the base, it'd be just half base times height, but I haven't. So what I do is I use the formula I mentioned that's uh, very often forgotten, it is the area of a triangle equals a half BC sine of A. Now, A is the angle we know, and the B and C don't really matter. Inconsistent use of colours. And all I do is area equals a half times B, which is 17, times 11 times the sine of 145 degrees. It's as simple as that. And the calculator does all the work for us. All we make sure we do is we write that down. So it's a half times 17 times 11 times sine 145. Close that bracket. And there's the area. 53.6 degrees. You're very likely to see that in a circle. That question come up in a circle. I'll just quickly touch on this. So we've got a chord there. Here's our circle. Sorry, here's the radius of the circle. Let's just undo that. You might not know this, but these are all recorded live.
and you're told the angle here is 120 degrees and the circle has a radius of 6. If you're trying to find the area of that triangle there, which you might do for instance if you see my video on uh, sectors and segments, you might need that. Uh, we would use a half, B, C are both the same, so 6 times 6 times sine 120 degrees. Comes up a fair bit later on when you, in your studies if you have to do A levels. Just quickly do this. 0 0.5, it's the same as a half, times 6 times 6 times sine 120. Close that bracket. And there you have 9 root 3 or 15.6 centimetres squared. Okay, thanks for listening.